Hey guys, Yuck from Team Super 7. Today, we'll be talking more in depth about scanners. Today, I'm going to show you the example and tell you all about scanners. So, scanner, most importantly, it is mostly used to receive user input and parse them into primitive data like ints, doubles, strings, etc. It also provides methods for reading input from a variety of sources like consoles, files, and network connections etc so now to show you an example of what i'm talking about first you need to make you need to let java know that you want to make a scanner this is where import java.util.scanner comes into play so in every pro in every program in java when you want to include this chart of uh, a scanner you always want to say at the beginning above your class import java.util.scanner to let java know you have a scanner once you've done that you need to make the actual scanner so to begin making an actual scanner let me tell you what we need to do so basically we're going to make a scanner that holds the user input that is entered on a keyboard. So per se, a person enters what's up on a keyboard, the the console will repeat that, which tells us that the console has memorized it or is keeping it in hold of the variable you put. So to begin that, put scanner, and we need a name or scanner with a variable. So we could call it by your name since it's your user input. So you could put yo, and then because that's my name, you can put your own name. And you could set that to equal to new scanner. And then you want to create some parentheses like that. And you want to put system in, which actually stands for um system um input so basically whatever we type in the keyboard it is held inside your variable name which in this case for me is yo so basically your keyboard or like your info that you type in the keyboard is equal to or is held in in the variable you put so now we need to print your variable so in order to do that, we write our normal statement as uh, system dot out dot print live, but inside the parentheses you would put something different, like this. Instead of brackets, instead of um the quotations you would put inside, you would put your uh, the next line and what this does is pause and wait till you get the input from your scanner like that so we're basically done at this point but to let us know when we're able to type and when we're ready we can put um so this is from a previous video, but instead of enter your age, you can put type now or whatever else you would like to put. Now let's run it. There you go. Now that it says type now, I was going to put my name is Yo. There we go. Now we know the console has held what I have typed on my keyboard. And that is by using a scanner. And that's all for this video.